morning, boys and girls, and thanks for joining us for EC Chapel this morning. Today we're going to be talking about the Great Commission, what Jesus commands his disciples to go and do, and what that means for us, even as, as children of God. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today and all the great gifts you've given to us. We thank you for the blessing that you have placed on each and every one of us and the promises you have given us to be forever your children. In Jesus' name, amen. So today I'm going to read to you from the Gospel of Matthew, and this is called the Great Commission, the Great Sending, and he's going to send out his disciples. So this is from Matthew chapter 28. And Jesus came and said to his disciples, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. The reason I want to share this today is to think about when we go places. A lot of us right now haven't gone a lot of places, but think about your own life. Where do you, where do you go? Uh, I remember growing up, I'd spend a lot of time maybe going to Grandma and Grandpa's house or going to see aunts and uncles and my cousins. I, I went on trips. I would go to uh, uh, camping with my family. We, we went many places camping. We went out to Washington, D.C. and went out to the Rocky Mountains and Yosemite Park and I went on choir tours when I was in high school and, and college, and I got to go to California and Arizona, and, and I got to go down to Texas and Mississippi and Louisiana, and I, I even got to go all the way to the other side of the world to a place called Slovakia and the Czech Republic and Austria. I got to do mission work, and I, and I got to go to Alaska. And another place I got to go to one time, as a, a couple times actually as a child, was Disney World. Maybe some of you have gone there or have, have dreamt of going there, the, the great mecca of fun to Disney World. So I've gone a lot of places in my life. I've lived in different places in my life. And maybe some of you have also. Jesus today tells us to go. But, but he, doesn't, he doesn't tell us to go somewhere, like go to the store or go to Grandma's house. Or What he's telling us is go. Go and make disciples. You know what a disciple is? A disciple is someone who, who follows Jesus, who loves Jesus. Right? Jesus loves, loves all of us so deeply because we are his children. But disciples are those who then follow him and listen to him. And what Jesus is saying, he's saying, go and make disciples. He's not telling us, go to this place or go to that place. He's telling us, wherever you go, make disciples. And you know how we make disciples? Think about your teachers. How do your teachers share that love of Jesus with you? Well, they tell you Jesus loves you, right? They, they show you his love. They give you those, those hugs and those blessings because they love you. And they want to show, with, show to you that love that Jesus has for you, that Jesus has for them because they know Jesus' love. And likewise, we then get to share that love wherever we go. That's his promise. Wherever we go, we get to share that. So where do you go? Maybe you go to grandma and grandpa's house, or maybe you go to a friend's house, or even in your own homes. How can you share that love? How can you be that light to other people? How can you, yes, even you, no matter how small, how young you are, make disciples? And then he gives us a promise, and I love this. He says, and I will be with you always, even to the end of the age, always. Reminds me of, of the great toy story in Buzz Lightyear. It says, to infinity and beyond. That Jesus is with you to infinity and beyond. He's with you always, even to the end of the age. And so I want, I want to do something, and we're going we're gonna to cut to a short video and then come back here in a second and talk about Blessings. This is something I know your teachers do with you, and it's something that we in our house have done for a while now, is, is we give blessings to our children each night as we're laying them down to bed. And a blessing is this. A, a blessing is, is simply speaking the promises of God upon another person. 
Now, parents, I really want to talk to you about this. And I want to encourage you to do this if this is something you're not already doing in your home. That's giving your children a blessing. To each night be able to say, you, child, are, are blessed. So I'm going to show you a video about what that looks like. But um, simply what we do is we place our hands on our child and we trace the sign of the cross on their forehead and we speak words of God's promise. Many times it's, you are a blessed and forgiven child of God. And so we'll do our evening prayers and then we'll do a, our blessing before uh, laying them down to sleep to remind them that whatever they're struggling with, whatever they're dealing with, no matter what happened today, they are blessed. God's promises are still for them. They are forgiven. Whatever they've done today, they are forgiven. And they are a child of God. And nothing will ever take that away. And it's sharing that love of God and it's encouraging them in their faith moving forward. And what I love about my, my children is as we've done this in our family, a lot of times they'll say, hey, Dad, I want to give you a blessing. And they'll bless me. Because I need a blessing too. Because I'm a child of God too. I'm a child of God who needs to be forgiven. I'm a child of God who needs to be reminded daily of God's blessings uh, in my life. And so I want to encourage you to, to do that um, in your own family. So, so check this clip out, um, and then we'll, we'll join back here. You are a blessed and forgiven <laughs> child of God. You are a blessed and forgiven child of God. Love you. Oh. <laughs> Mwah. Love you. Good night. And we're not going to bed. Oh, we're not going to bed. <laughs> so that's what that's what blessings look like in my house. Um, I'm sure in your house it might look a little bit different, but. It's still the same blessing from our Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus who, who commanded us to go and make disciples of all nations. And we're, before we think that's all out there, and it can be, maybe some of you listening right now one day will be missionaries and bring his word uh, to, to the far reaches of the globe. But it starts in our homes. It starts in our, in our house. That our home would be a dwelling place where God is alive and well, and where we go and others come to receive that love of Jesus. Boys and girls, thanks for joining me this morning. Remember, wherever you go, even if it's in your own homes right now, or even virtually, we go places virtually, FaceTime or these virtual field trips, remember, make disciples of all nations and and share that love of Jesus as you've received that love of Jesus. God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are good and gracious beyond all, and we give you thanks for your many blessings in our life. Bless us that we never forget the promises you've placed in our life, and teach us to share that love wherever we go, as you have given us your great love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray together as our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, you are forever a blessed and forgiven child of God. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you, friends, for joining us today. And God's peace on your day. I was glad to be able to share this word with you. And may that word be a blessing to those around you this morning.